Okay, so uh, I'm just doing a little bitty short video, I guess, just kind of like a little thing for like Facebook or whatever. But anyway, this is uh, apparently how things look back in 2005. Uh, so we're gonna do like a little small video of me doing uh, jerky stuff. So we got the switch this around real quick. So we got the pit going. I just put some wood in there. We're trying to get the wood uh, back up. So open this up real quick. Don't want to get too close right now. But I don't want to damage this camera or anything. Yeah, it's kind of since we're coming through. But yeah, look, we got some wood in there. And um, we're about to get this flipped around. 2005 problems, right? And so. Anyway, I got that going, getting this heated up, but I get the meat in a second, and even if it gets dark, actually this camera has night vision on it, so that helps out. It may look like that old, like, uh, Blair Witch looking stuff, but hey, it'll work. I'm going to put this on uh, Facebook and stuff in a little while, so. But anyway, stay tuned for that. I'm going to go inside and get the meat, put it out here and get that stuff smoking real quick, so stay tuned. All right, so I have returned. Went ahead and I got the meat and stuff. Should be able to, let's see. Let's turn the screen this a little bit. Yeah, now I can see better. All right, yeah, I got my bag. And uh, got my jerky with my good old, oh, made a whole thing shake. Got my jerky with my seasoning blend. And then, a little restaurant style black pepper I like to put a little bit on top of the uh, jerky as it's smoking. Kind of like a little finish thing. It makes it taste pretty good. Well, we're going to go ahead and check this flame over here real quick. And lower this thing back down. Oops. Had to edit that, I guess. Check this real quick. Uh, watch, because I have a disc in here. Yeah, this thing runs off DVDs. So, we are at a good temperature. That's perfect. So, we're gonna pause this for a second. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing opened up real quick. This camera should be good where it is. Should not be too much heat for it there. And we got some good smoke going. So go ahead and get my grate moved back. Gonna get that meat put on here. Let's see what this picture looks like real quick. All right, yeah, we can see what I want to see there. Now it's open, so that heat dissipated a little bit. We can get an angle about like that. <laughs> Flip this around. Let's see what I'm looking at here. That was good. Alright, got the pieces of meat. I don't know what kind of color we got on this camera, what it looks like, but we got these uh, on here. Now what I like to use, I use, like to use like a chuck tender or a flank. These right here, I have some sirloin uh, cut thin. And you don't want a whole lot of fat in it because it's jerky. Uh, least fat, the better. But, you know, tends to their own. It's probably the fat could spoil, but I put, I put uh, preserving salt in here. So that helps out. And the preserving salt will keep it uh, shelf stable for about six weeks. But the jerky does not last six weeks before it gets eaten. It might last a few days or so, a week maximum, maximum a week. Because we all know whoever's tried my jerky knows how good it is. I'm not really trying to brag, but I do have some pretty good jerky that I make. I have gotten pretty darn good at making that. And I'm quite confident that it is definitely better than anything you can usually buy in the store. 
it's, it's freaking awesome. It's hard for me not to eat it myself when I make it. You don't want any kind of pieces overlapping themselves, of course. Just like when you're cooking any kind of other food on the grill, you know? Okay, that's all I got. And I'm gonna dump my bag out real quick. Okay. So I got my bag dumped out. I'm about to get a little bit of that black pepper that I got. I'm just gonna put a final little layer of it on here. I don't wanna do too much because it'd be kinda hot. Just put a little coating of it on there. And I'm gonna do this to both sides. I'm putting this one side for now. This is kind of crinkled up a bit. And stretch that out. We don't want it folded upon itself because it ain't going to smoke right. Okay. So that's what I got for now. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. And uh, let it smoke. I'm gonna try and push this down just a bit. Hope I don't mess it up. Turn around. But yeah, so we got that in there real quick. I'm gonna go wash my hands real, fi uh, real fast. And then uh, we'll come back and check in a minute and check out the process. I only got 30 minutes on this disc, so I gotta try and clamp, like, I guess crunch them up real quick. Let's see, probably need to adjust my hat. There we go. All right, so I uh, just came back out here about 10 minutes or so, you know, just to check the temperature. Because I really ain't got to move the meat. It's not going to burn. I'm just going to make sure it's right. And my temp wasn't. I'm like 150. And when you do jerky, you're going to want it at like 175 and or like one. Okay, so like 165, probably like 180. You really don't want it that much higher because you want a uh, slow uh like not a slow but a low heat to it you don't want to make it really hot so we're checking it over here and i don't know if you can see it now let's see let's see where's the camera looking all right so now we got it um might be able to see it there i really can't tell but yeah it's almost up to 200 uh so that's about about one about 170 ish 180 ish and that and that's perfect and that's exactly where you're going to want your uh your meat and stuff to be when you're smoking so we're going to check it again and i just check it about 10 minutes 15 minutes or so just to make sure the temperature's right and now i know it's good just got to make sure now that it doesn't get over that because if it gets over that that's when you can start like cooking it we don't actually want to cook it we just want to do a slow smoke on it it dries it out and that gives it a better shelf stable uh, life than cooking it like a regular piece of steak or something. So we'll check that in a minute and I'm probably gonna go to night vision here so I'm gonna look really weird here in a little while. Gotta use my cell phone light because this thing ain't got light on it. All right, going back outside to check the jerky real quick. We're about to go, oh, sorry. About to go to night vision mode because uh, it is officially dark. So let's get ready for that. All right, so as you can see, we are in uh, night shot mode on this thing. So we're gonna try and check the jerky. I don't know how it's gonna work, but we're gonna see how it's looking. Let's see, we should be able to see the grill and stuff here. I'm gonna try and angle this thing down a little bit. I don't know what I can actually see with it. It's hard for me to see the screen. Probably has my hand there, so the grill is right, right here. So let's see.
Okay, there we go. Kind of see a little bit. I just had to move the camera around, but it looks pretty interesting. That's how it is at night. And this camera actually can, I can't see anything in there right now. It's completely dark, but this camera can see it. But uh, we're cooking still. What kind of picture quality we can get here? Oh wow, black and white meat, nice. Let's get a picture of that. I guess the flame. Sorry being so close. But uh, anyway, we're gonna close this back down. I'm gonna break out a flashlight real quick and we're gonna take a look at this. Let me just pause this real quick and then uh, we're gonna switch it to regular. I'm gonna use a flashlight so we can see it. So I ain't got too much, uh, much time left on this disc. All right, so I went ahead and ran with it handheld and now I've got the light over here. I don't want to get too close to that flame, it shouldn't be that bad, but yeah, I got my, oh, focus, you can do it, you know you want to, all right, I got my pellets in there, and here we go with the jerky, I don't know how appetizing it looks on this uh, camera here, it looks kind of black and white or grayish, I know I got night shot off, so it should definitely be uh, in color, but it's just the way it looks, this camera, I'm going to color grade it later. But yeah, it's uh, coming along pretty good. Got a nice smoke on it. I see some of that smoke there. But, I'm going to go ahead and switch this around. And then I'm going to handheld this way. With this light, right there. Kind of awkward. In my left hand, probably should do it right handed. Yeah, it's a lot easier with my right hand. It's just hard for me to hold from my left hand. But anyway, that's uh, that's um, my jerky adventure, I guess, on this old camera. But all I can really do, it's kind of dark. We do have night vision and stuff, but it's a little difficult, as you can tell, to uh, get that right. But um, hope y'all enjoyed it. And it's just an interesting little thing to see how it would look from 2005, I guess, again. And I have some older cameras I can use. I think the other one I have is from 1996. I might try and do a video with that one and see. But this is just for, just for fun. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Might be boring, might not be. It was interesting just trying this camera out to do it. So, all right. Well, hope you all enjoy it. Later.